Live from Studio C in the cardboard box of radio station. Still away, Mesh. Practice. Yee haw. I haven't even started to. S I woke up. Yeah. Let's get into it. Let's see. So hopefully today we'll have better connections. We shouldn't have any issues. I wanted to start a little bit early today just to get some more stuff. How you like the thumb, huh? How you like this thumb right here? I just done this thumb. This it's not the best, but it's not the worst. Alright, I messaged her uh Daniel. Negative Mary. That that Bean Boozle's been rescheduled. Don't forget, guys, to thumbs up the the video. Appreciate. It. God, I can't type today. <clears throat> okay, push that right there. Copy. And let us uh, tweet this real quick. Yeah, it, she might come in late. I don't know. She she works, I think, until like 9.30 or some shit. I think. Let's get into how they pop to 
before we do that. is that holy almost done on there we go <laughs> okay, enough of this. Getting dinner, be back later. I'll be on Sons of the Forest. Oh, you're getting dinner. Nice. All right, here we go. Let's get into this. Sorry, I had to tweet. Yeah, we're gonna have to schedule the bean boozled for another day. We're gonna have to um Did it really? What? Not not on my screen. Let me check my phone. Let me check my phone. No, everything's fine on my side. Interesting. I'll read really like, but I'll read really like, but 
Yeah, everything's fine on here. Everything looks good. I'm watching it. Yeah, everything's fine on here. Everything looks good. I'm watching it. Yeah, everything's everything's good on my end. I, I don't know. It's weird how now you're getting issues and I'm not. Yeah, like I said, I, I had no problems. I'm in the green. Isn't that isn't isn't technology fun? It is, isn't it? Hmm. I was trying to edit a, another video earlier. I'm gonna have to go back to my old video editor, which I really don't want, but so we have a lot of new quests that opened up. Meet her in the hamlet. There's quite a few. Yes, they are, Mary. I agree with you 110%. Okay. Well, let's have fun today, right? We've had a lot of shit. I still... Let's enjoy the day. Like I said, I wanted to start a little uh, early to get more of this game in. So I'm having such a fun time with it. It's just so pretty. It looks really good on screen too, and I watched the the playback, it looked it looked really good. just happened right there. Yes, I agree. It looks smoother because the Kodaks are different. And I can stream a hell of a lot. See, the more the, the more bits the more higher your bit rate as it moves, the better clearer it is. On Twitch, you're limited to 6,000. Some streamers I've heard do 8,000. But those are partners. The set of armor belonged to Sir Skagglethorpe, the headless the heedless who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. So I'm streaming at 11,000 kilobits a second. Which is is 90% more than what Twitch allows as a max. Well, I've yet to understand how one is Oh yeah, there was something. I don't know where it is. It looks really good. Good. Rebellion. I like that. I like to hear that. <laughs> it 
It looks really good on my end too. Revelio. I keep hitting. I keep hitting our our T instead of R. I see treasure chests, but I can't get <clears throat> in time, we will. <clears throat> Isn't that weird? I'm pumping out more power and it doesn't and it does less whatchamacallit for you? Less battery usage. That's so funny. Revelio. They're so cute, these little things. So wild. Revelio. See a treasure or something up there. Can you get on that little stone? Rocks up here or something. Believe it or not. Okay, I'm quite high. <laughs> I didn't think I was this high.
You can't get on that little lip? I guess not. Uh-oh. Water looks pretty badass. I know I couldn't do anything. We tried. Revelio. Hmm. New solar goggles and a potion. Nice. So one might surmise that this set of tools could be enchanted to create all sorts of furnishings for a cozy hut as large as the occupant may need. Quite a bit of those little told steel things. This looks intriguing. Looks beautiful. assistance what's up hello can I help you oh thank goodness yes my name is Grace Pinch Smedley of the Bath Pinch Smedley's I was hoping someone would come along soon right yeah I, I agree. was about to Mary. defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself you see I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake might you be the one to help me Sure. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A mm. treasured family astrolabe vanished Hugs with me. them that yeah. night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. What is an astrolabe? What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. 
Should I know who your family is? You seem to are? think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Medleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. <clears throat> I have to think about this. Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the Astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. <laughs> I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best Stedgel. guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. I'm not quite sure how you dive. Let's find out. Welcome back, Daniel. Look down, move forward, move back, sprint, fly, walk, boost, charge, take off. I guess...
I saw the new uh, Ghost Adventures yesterday. That was cool. Alright, from according to what I just read, there should be a uh, a whirlpool. This water is not that deep. All right, northeast of There's a treasure vault right there. Oh, I see. Okay. It gives you on the map. It shows a bit of a map. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. So your gear slots are full. What the hell are gear slots? Oh. There we go. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. I thought like it was going to be a whole new scene underwater. But alas, it was not. It was just that little spot. But it's okay. We figured it out. It's weird. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. I mean, <gasps> hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? I did. Here you are. I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Updated a mermaid mask. Interesting. Collections.
I never oh. thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. What is this? Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Any rumors going about? Any whispers going about mm. the town? Whispers. A goblin called Pergit is causing a bit of a stink. His gang is attacking traveling vendors, and now business is suffering everywhere. Uh, it would be nice if someone would do something about it. No one wants to pick a fight with a band of goblins, though. <laughs> Which means he's free to do what he wants down in Coral Ruins. Ah, clue. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lord Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. But I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. My price is low enough already, you see. <laughs> what do you sell? What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> my ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. Barf. May I see your wares? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Hmm. I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. I got two of them. Huh? Well, I see. Ah, yes, a wonderful choice. Leech juice. This is where you can store excess items. No, I have not, Mary. I hope to see you again sometime. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. A verdant hat. But I like that one because it looks cool. Where's Nate when you need a... There's got to be a way. I forget how you do it. To uh, like, like, say, if I want, if I wanted this style, but I have this one, there's a way for me to keep this, but have the traits of this other one. Hmm. See, I have it on this one. I know there's a way to do it. I just don't remember how you do it. Oh, change appearance. Ah, that's how you do it. Gotcha. I 
It just looks this different, you know? I mean, it looks like the other ones. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> That's cool. That's so much better. <laughs> That's better. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. <clears throat> Has this Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what yeah, they want. Yeah, I did too, Mary. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. Are you a painter? You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I shall keep an eye out. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. Aww. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Oh. It is good to see you, my After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. What are you up to now? Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. The Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I really can't say. Oh, I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is mm. why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Hollow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Hollow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili Land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. I'm glad to hear Good. it. Rookwood and Hollow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. 
I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. That's very nice. Thank you. Be on your guard. Why well, will? I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Swirly edge. I'll take that. Yay. Nice. It is. They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefied! Oh shit. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Potion Secretary has been updated. A new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights of these weaknesses to certain spells. I see you. Collections. Their powerful reductor curse cannot be blocked by shielded charms, but interrupting that cast with severing charm will spin them to the point of losing control and hitting one of their own gang. So they're vulnerable to all, all sorts of t attacks. Oh shit. Oh, oh. Uh, to your knees. Uh, 
What on earth just happened? I've never been a god in such a manner. And so close to Hogwarts. Ew, leeches. Ew. Juicy. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. How extraordinarily. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. <clears throat> I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. The Winter Storm has been weather advisory has been is not no longer in my area i should say it is for an eastern counties but not here excellent how fascinating i can see why you're so interested in merlin i'd be keen to know more about the trials well then i'll let you in on a little secret no one has yet managed to figure out how they work but i believe i have just unlocked a crucial clue I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow, Mallow Sweet. Sweet. Versatile <clears throat> herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you Precisely. care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swirl, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Revelio. Uh Incendio Merlin's beard The flames make the pyre sing Hey, Reeve, what's up, brother? How what's are you? Day? I can hardly believe it. We're going to be uh, later on in a couple hours. We'll be on Sons of the Forest. I think that we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? <clears throat> hmm? 
Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. So they've updated it, And do it be too. careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. My God, how fun would that be? What the? Akio. Uh, T? T for spells, I... Mm. Revelio. Okay, cool. It's another trial over here. Lumos. Lumos. I should investigate. Revelio. I must have gotten this already. I did. Such a cool world. What do you have in store for me this time? Revelio. Levioso. 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 Got me another one around. Revelio. It's like stuck. Huh. 
Lumos. Levioso. Accio. I see some over here. Revelio. Oh, they're hork lump juice. What are these little boogers? Levioso. Accio. Levioso. Accio. Now that rock is gonna go all the way down there. <laughs> that's yeah, that's exactly what I'm planning to do here. Akio. It's stuck in his tree. I can't get it out. I mean, it's trying. Levioso. Maybe if I leave her and come back for later. I'm done. Alright, well, we figured part of it. I don't want to spend 20 years on something that's broke. Oh, 
And then if you do that, it opens that up. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Wonder how far back it would put me if I sit if I reload. Let's see if I if I go into a door. Like where am I? Let's see if I travel and then Let's see if that resets it. Travel and come back. Because it seemed like it reset the die. So. This looks so good, doesn't it? It looks so realistic. They did this such a prove dangerous if I'm not careful. They did so such a good job on this game. Let me also. <laughs> I levitated a goat. There's something you don't see every day. Or a sheep. <laughs> it is really good. Okay, so that's back. Excellent. Rebellio. Lumos. Oh, it's not sitting on it proper. Akio. Days daybreak. Levioso. Levioso. Lumos.
Must be something else on here. Leech juice, yummy. Who needs to pay for it when you can get it yourself? Juicy. See, it's re it's back to Akio. Revelio. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, use fire? Oh. Uh, I'm gonna kick myself in the ass if that's the Revelio. Incendio. It, it, you know why? Because it has a flame on it. Oh my god. Thanks. Revelio. This is why Reap is a Reap. Lumos. This looks intriguing. I was just testing you guys. Revelio. Lumos. Levioso. Accio. Levioso. I'll have for a school blazer. say I am becoming a wizard or is it a shower cap stuck on my head good job fire or uh, frolic or uh, creep whoever you are <laughs> using fire is what I was trying to say good job Reaper for using fire that was a weird it's a bit foggy. 
Hi. We could... You see this icon and location? If you see this icon and a location, hover over to reveal any hidden icons that may be at the same location. We should go to Hogsmeade. This is huge. No idea where I'm going. I'm just, I'm going on a whim. There's puffikins. If they're like puffins, which is my favorite bird aren't they the cutest they make such noise I want some oh my god this feels like uh Feels like what's it called? Uh, Red Dead Redemption and Dark Souls. Who lived here? I wonder. Revelio. I'll take some money, and I'll take some spectacles. Let me Can't lift it up though. Swing, lace wings. <laughs> what? Revelio. Oh, they're puffers. Kid, they're so cute. Levioso Accio I can't call I can't. Levioso So damn cute Oh <laughs> They're so damn cute. Almost like a gremlin, but a cute gremlin. Gremlins are scary. Oh, I see. I had to visit it. There's another one.
It never gets old hearing those little things. It's just like it's like clown shoes from hell. Never to irritate the living shit out of Blondie, and I love it. Revelio. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Levioso. Lumos. Revelio. Oh shit, there's tons of them. Revelio. Yeah, they do. It'd be really badass, like if you stand in a spot like this and then you could just go through time. You just go through different things. Revelio. Like it's a mongrel, mongrel fur. Coins. Oh, there's it was a dead person's body right here. Yo. Revelio. Save. I don't know what that is. So many things to do yet. <sighs> New inventory slot unlocked. Really? Small creatures that resemble shrooms, their juice is used in wiggle and potion. They tend to hide underground. Ew. We 
We still need to go to back to the school to learn another t uh, another spell or two. Uh, herbology class. Oh no, that's way down there. Oh, that's way over there. Oh, okay. I didn't think it was that. So what is this? Time to get like Assassin's Creed. There's one. I found a Dirichol den near one of the hamlets. Made some galleons off that little find. Okay, collections. So let's see if we can understand what they are. Interrupting their reductor curse with a banishing charm will cause them to lose control of their spell cast. As it begins to charge in front of a fire, blasting it backwards with the the pulsal, the pulsal is particularly effective. They can catch you off guard by casting spells as they recover from being knocked down. I should definitely do that. I reckon I can see myself getting away from here and not taking a one of you with me since you've all turned yourselves into a pack of jarvies. How many are there? One, two, three. Ah, oh, shit. Four? So you got her, you got that one over there, you got this dude. That's three. Sadly, I can't defeat... I can't... So it's just three, it looks like. Seems like a quiet night. I don't know. Tell what should what we do? I'm thinking. I'm thinking we could oh, steal shit. Some beasts from the pens at Hogwarts. Okay, so there's one, two, three. I think there's a fourth. There is a fourth right there. So you have this dude, you have that dude, and then you have those two sitting right there. I'm outnumbered four to one. Odds are not looking good in my favor. I have to retreat for right now. I don't feel that strong. We should go to class. There we go. We don't want to rush into everything at once, you know what I mean? I wanted to explore, yes. But we need to get some spells. We need to get a little bit.
would like to shop in the hamlet. I'm too afraid to venture out alone with all that's going on. Herbology. Rebellion. Herbs. Yeah, over in the UK they say herb instead of herb. Love to study this. It'd be fascinating. Ooh, Dittany leaves. Who's slurping over here? Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Garlic. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> you class. can create potions, Please yes. Please welcome the newest rose in our <laughs> garden. I look so stuffy. I like. We do look forward yes. to growing together. <clears throat> I'm better than everybody in this bitch. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. Now then. Today, we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Uh oh. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Poor little bastards. Repair him. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. I want now, one of those. Our next task will be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Should I shove your head in that plant? Oh, what are you going to do? The thing wants to eat you and you're going to stare at it? I dare you to stick your finger in it. <gasps> he seriously is? You know you want to. Don't mind me, I'm just kind of, you know, watching. Even his eyes move, my character's eyes, like they scans the other person. That's creepy. Come on, you could do it. Uh. I love Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why the very idea? I could totally see that. When I'm in Hogsmeade, I always pay a visit to Dogweed and Death Cat. Although, Madam Green can be a little fiery sometimes. I'm definitely one to stay on good side. 
I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Oh, there's some mallow sweet. Oh, nice. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. It's okay. Dear Professor Garlic, I'm very thoughtful of you and to remember that strawberries are my favorite. They're as sweet as can be. It's no wonder muggles love them so much. Everything you cultivate seems to be of such high quality from bitter root to berries to... I, I do hope that my darling niece can learn a skill whilst under your tutelage. Tutelage. Lenora so adores you, as do of all of our students, I'm sure. Warmest regards always, Eleanor Everlay. Hmm. Let's collect some Dittany leaves. Anything else we can get for free? What's up here? It's gotta be a chest or something. Ah, or Mallow Marlow. Yeah. Nice. Some flux weed. Some money. You can't hide from me. Not grass. Isn't it amazing? I think herbology is er, herbology is neat. I really do. It's amazing what plants can do, including cry and sing, aka mushrooms. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I enjoyed it. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. <clears throat> Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy, or roses? We need a table. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Dittany seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. <sighs> is that it? Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. <laughs> You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw mm. on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. 
They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. What should I be doing right now? I'd like you to get some hands-on experience with the Chinese chomping cabbages. They're in the greenhouse, just across the footbridge. Mr. Pruitt will assist you with them. Oh, he shall, shall he? Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. If his name is Leander, how about Leander Thaw? <laughs> Would be the rest of it. Nice work in Defense Against the Dark Arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. And uh, Ravenclaws too. At least you did. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Cacti's. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. But now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Rebellion. Well, tab and tap. Oh, tab. Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Oh. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? Yes. My kind of plants. <clears throat> Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could come in handy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls and hogsmead and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Everybody wants to lead me Take down. I'll see you back in class. Oh. Everybody wants to lead me down a wrong path. Everybody doesn't like me. Honking daffodils, aren't they? Oh my.
And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I'm also on the I to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. As am I, but plants offer so much. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. To make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the great hall. A couple of minutes left on that one. Okay. I like how everything is magical in here. Minute and 36, wow. What's in here? pretty they did such a good job on this game I think I if I go to Hogwarts Hogsmeade I could buy a bigger table and stuff too that reminds me how much how much money do I have 1500 hmm Thirty-five years later. That's true. 
Let's see if it makes any kind of noise. Oh wow. A little thundercloud above it. Oh, how cute is that? Cool. I try to imagine the great If I had to pick one shop, it would be Glad Rags. Mr. Hill is always very helpful, don't you find? I can appreciate This whole layout reminds me of Revelio. Of um there be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? The hell? Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. The museum. That's all our smack talk we're talking. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. From Aura's office, subject Borgen and Burks. Borgen and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more Aurora's to join those that have already been watching the shop here. Amongst the new additions, further instructions to follow. 1875. Rebellion. It's compromised the ministry's magical law enforcement and protects the wizarding world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. This aura, the Aurora badge belongs to Professor Sharp. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. Hehe, <laughs> you're funny. Revelio! <laughs> no, I didn't get any spells there. I'm just able to plant my plants right now so I can get a distance. is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. I might be able you to learn it here. this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Now drink it. Oh. 
I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Mm. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. <clears throat> but in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Excellent. <clears throat> My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Why do you want to know? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good idea. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Mm -mm. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the ass. Hey, Heidi, what's up, my dear? How are you? Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. <clears throat> Good to see you. Your potion should not be that tough. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. Arf. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiggermeld potion. Oh, thank you. That means a lot coming from a fellow Ravenclaw. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiggermeld potion on their first try. Well done. <clears throat> Art thank you. I was relieved. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy <laughs> together. She's You'll driving? Professor wow. Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, mm. no doubt. Was it 10 in one? She's doing an audition. Nice. She's gonna be a celebrity one day. You just watch. She'll be Gareth. like. She'll Hello be in again. Hollywood. Never mind. <laughs> Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. My Wiganweld potion's utter rubbish. Six. Oh. Wish I could just replace it with one from J. Pippins. It's like slime. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she is. She's very talented. <clears throat> Seems like she'll be um, advancing very well in life. I have that, that feeling. 
As her agent, you should take 80 20. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Should you chop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Hogwarts is going excellent. There's so much to do. <clears throat> There's so much to do. Like it takes you on all these different paths, just like a good RPG would. It's just, and the, and the graphics are so nice. And everything talks around, it is, it's like a movie. Exactly, well said. Daniel says he's liking this game already. Nice. Do you have Sons of the Forest, Heidi? And now we add the Mallow Suite, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! Oh, Dragon Dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. We're gonna be on that what later. Now, Mr. Weasley. Sorry, for fine job brewing your. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. It is like a movie. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, sir. <laughs> Glad you managed to stay on task. <laughs> Not every and I was also so gifted it by an eventful. amazing friend as well. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. And Destiny, he can be quite persuasive. the full. Glad Did you, you play uh, to Destiny? You've done well today. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp mm. of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. And you can keep that fwoppa feather. This time, that'll be all. <clears throat> Uh oh. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. You knew I'd take the small part. That was an interesting class. Mm -hmm. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. Well, for certain, you'd have helped. It did sound like fun. I shouldn't have been so concerned with getting in trouble. I think it's good to take risks every now and again, especially when it comes to potions class. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Ew. Greetings. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Oh, my robes are going to reach from them. Inspiration for the rest of time. Hmm. <clears throat> to talk to me in Hogsmeade, does he? Well. Oh. 
Okay. Let's stay in this area. Let's let's start looking around for <clears throat> stuff. <laughs> yeah. If you look very carefully, all the paintings move. We had a knight earlier. Uh, there was two knights together in the hallway, and it one bashed the living hell out of the other. And it was like, "What are Rebellion. you doing?" It was crazy. Hmm. <clears throat> we should be able to get into that place at another date. Right now we're in search of those eyeball chests. I rem now I know how to get those eyeball chests. So we're gonna look for them. I've always said that travel broadens That's the, the last mind. time I have a potion idea that I don't write down. My guy looks like it's my old dog. Let's see if we can find one of those two or two. Uh, yeah. What's down here? The library. Revelio. <sighs> Reading can be as magical as any spell. Why can't students see that? Hmm. Levioso. <laughs> Revelio. Lumos. I don't know if there's one in here or not. I don't remember. Yeah, I get torn apart. Yeah, yeah. They were near bathrooms. Revelio. Oh dear. I shall get in trouble for this. What's wrong? Is everything alright? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. It's amazing. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow, I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps As you she could should. get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. <clears throat> sure. Why did Amit tell Why did you? Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. You may want to dye your hair. You look fairly gray at such a young age. Eh. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect I them may. and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I'm going to have to use that. Got it. Only four more to go. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Uh. 
This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. That is until Garrett splashed out of a ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lacewing flies. I had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over. He's such a menace. Thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions. Always disrupting <sighs> Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that if he wasn't the Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Oh, that's that dude that wanted that feather. Yeah, she saw, yeah, she does. I'm with Smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. Mm-hmm. I bet you they're up here. Rebellion. I see one. As I said, this reminds me of the library in Akio. Uh in Dark Souls. I don't know if it was Dark Souls 2 or 1. <laughs> the hell is that? Revelio. Ah, there you are. Come here, my little bugger. Accio. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. It's amazing how far we've come with games. Isn't it crazy? And it gives you the option too, like if you don't want to give it back to him. Uh. Repair. Leviosa. Akio. Revelio. Leviosa, Repairer. Very true. It has a very healthy, uh, very healthy one to play kind of a, a story. It should be things. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. What a relief! Thank you! I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. <laughs> Perhaps a reward to keep the diary a secret. That's horrible. Here you go. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps mm. I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Okay, you said fire, eh? Incendio! Hello, Vex. I adore that. My favorite room in the school is the library.
We gotta find those little, uh... Find those which McCallots. I'm gonna find those eyeballs. No better feeling than plunging your hand. Yeah, it's a beautiful game. Revelio. Words like this were used by goblins in the 1612 Goblin Rebellion to rally troops and generally annoy witches and wizards. This horn was discovered in the aftermath of the rebellion behind the Hog's Head Inn with a wedge of Gongonzeal stuffed inside, presumably to mute it. Hmm. Ended up with a hedgehog. Not terribly comfortable to sleep on, I'd imagine. My brother. Revelio. Oh. Damn it, it's locked. Low fire. Get all you guys all hanging out and shit. Love it. All right, let's see what this is. Got to use our little light. This little light. Lumos. It's near the Sphinx. I don't remember seeing that. Revelio. This is a new area. The Sphinx. Oh, oh, oh. Beat that drum. Oh, 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 oh boy. Ooh. Appreciate those thumbs up. What are you eating? Revelio. Oh, so pretty. For Perchy the slimy yet symphonic frogs that comprise the Hogwarts Frog Choir, these magical amphibians can sing in six part harmonies and hold a pitch better than most humans. Chicken pesto pasta. Nice. There's one. Watch this. You guys are gonna like this. So T. Watch this. Can't see me. Oh, he sounds like a little doggy. Five hundred and forty dollars in that one, or five hundred bucks. Ooh wee. Rebellion. Don't I have not seen that Sphinx yet, have you? Scorch marks, allegedly the location of the first known instance of arguably successful casting of Bombarda. Date unknown caster I unidentifiable. <laughs> well, where is this Sphinx? I wonder what it was like in Hogsmeade. Revelio. Hmm. There's nothing like it in all of Britain, you know. Um, I'm free freeing it, right? I'm just free. Accio. I'm just doing a free. uh this would look really good as a. Hold on. This would be a really good screenshot. This would make great wallpaper.
Yes, I have to. Right back, guys. I'm just going to use the bathroom real quick. You see that speed and everything of that ghost? I think that's usually how... Oh, this would be a good shot, too. Ooh, that's beautiful. I'll be right back. Let's save before I do this. You went for your walk today. Nice. I usually go in my... I, I couldn't do it today, though, because... Uh, it snowed. We didn't get as much snow. Incendium. As they predicted. Accio. Revelio. Okay. Getting a little lost here. I don't even know where my bedroom is. That's the main entrance or one of them. That's where I came down. See, that's what we were supposed to get, I think. Play hog grit, yeah. Fire? Is that one of your distant cousins? The face, not so much the body match, but... Eh. 
the hell am I going? <laughs> Revelio. Another fire thing in there. Come on, get in there. Ah, uh, we're back here. Let's see. With the astrom astronomy wing. Ooh, I love astronomy. Excuse me, Professor. Could you remind me what my assignments were about? Professors Weasley and Fig asked that I teach you the disarming charm, Expelliarmus. Once you complete the assignments I've given, we can begin your instruction. Okay, so that's what we gotta do. Journal. Practice avoiding attack by dodging when I shall summon the castings. My field guide will not guide me through their assignment, but Mac could still prove useful. Successfully. Okay. All right, Heidi, are we? tell her to break a leg. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. Be safe. I don't know if we. Revelio. Never been out here. The wyvern. Uh, the fountain's transfiguration courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern, wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, contrary possible start, possibly started by Sir Catagon, this most is uh, this is most assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of Y, slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Revelio, what are you doing? So many doors that are locked and stuff we can't get into yet. Huh. Alright, so let's go. Let's go to Hogsmeade. There's a dude that wants to talk to us anyways, but...
<clears throat> you can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Flu powder? 50 bucks. Let's see, where can we go in here? Hairstyles. Uh, let's see. It was flea powder. <laughs> it might have been. I love how we can just go into people's houses and just. Revelio. Just take a little extra. Extra stuff for us. For ourselves. A little extra cash ain't gonna hurt. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, maybe I was thirsty. Rebellion. Wow. Well, that's a huge lock. Look at that one. I think you would have traps, yeah. Oh, she's. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Oh. oh, poor thing. It's like I killed it or something. Yes. Let me also. Oh, my. Nothing, huh? I know, right? I'm about to steal. Let me say. I'm about to steal another 500. Hmm. Oh. Sounds just like one of my animals. Oh. Incendio. Rebellion. Accio. That song is so good. What's the name of the owl? Rebellion. We have a broken. <clears throat> oh, what is this? Scent? Uh, that. Lumos. Ooh, damn. Where in the hell is that? Why, hello.
Uh oh. Shit, where did I just get this from? Literally, it was around the corner. What? Oof. Yes. Hello, cat. Can't live a kit tate a cat. Damn it. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> that would have been that would have been epic. Looks pretty damn good. Come in here, eat your muffin real quick. I am the muffin man. Revelio. Music in this game is so good. OMG. <laughs> Alright, so we got two. Incinerate five people. Where do you think you're going? Oh, 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 What was that? Guys, just raining shit around. Don't push. I, right, Mary, take care. Yes, we will see you back here Rebellion. on Monday. On uh, Twitch, take care. Have a fine evening. Enjoy the oh, unicorns. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. At least the weekend is going to be nice. Well, at least in my area. Perhaps yours as well. See, when I hear that, it always reminds me of like a little engine that started, right? You sit there and you sit there and you rub them and they do all that stuff, right? And the next thing you know, they just li bite the living shit out of you. Just like, like they just completely sink their teeth into you like nothing. Or they'll scratch the living bejesus out of you. That's why I don't like cats. Cats have irritated cactus. Mm -hmm. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Wow. Alright, let's uh, go through my inventory real quick. Let's see what we have. We're wearing that, but we'll turn that on. Okay. 
See, I'm I'm the same. <laughs> what can I do for you today? Well played, sir. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Twelve hundred. Troll bogeys. Imperceptible for here. A wise decision. Thank you. Dug Doug Bog Tongue. Organ gathered from the mouth of Doug Bogs, also known as fire. What? Is used for the focus potion. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Thank you. Revelio. J. Pippin's potions established in 1753 as the apothecary. Apothecary. In Hogsmeade, where Propeteer Perry Pippin, who is not related to Scotty Pippin, sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Isn't that just beautiful? This guy is here all day and all half a night. Poor sot. Well, we're gonna get here eventually. We're just. Why does that sound like Sea of Thieves music? Rebellion. What is this place? Why, well, hi. Yeah, I don't remember a beer, <gasps> beer place being here. But, ugh. Oh. Was that beer I just drank or was that spit in a spittoon? Rebellion. Ah, yes. The mounted hog's head. This mounted hog's head rolls its eyes and snuffles its nose as it oversees the seedy atmosphere and decidedly interesting clientele of the hog's head. Isn't he just beautiful? Damn, I wish there was something like this in real life. How fun that would be. Let's take me back to the 1800s. I'd love to see what it looked like. Or even the 1700s. Alright, we made it this far. <clears throat> we'll save here real quick. And then 
We'll try this little part and we'll jump into the <clears throat> music making section of the games. <laughs> oh, yeah? Let me I love doing that. That is so much fun. Hello, be with you in a bit. What? Revelio. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. I am. Cause you know they they're a little they're a little onion -ry. How can I combat them? Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Revelio. This car belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. Nice. You mind if I, uh. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, shizzle, shizzle popper, puffin, popper, proppin, shiffle proppin. I just made a new word. Y'all should be jealous. Shiffle proppin. That's the Latin word for uh, a marshmallow cactus. Revelio. Oh, it's one of you. Hi. You saw me? Okay. Revenue. Oh, I need a puppy sound. Incendio. Okay. Revelio. Let's leave it here for now, right? You just keep throwing me money. Ooh. Revelio. I saw a book. No. I could have swore it was a page floating around.
Okay. Another update, huh? <clears throat> Hotfix fixing more cases of Kelvin, able to cut down tree houses. He may still do this on some old structures, but shouldn't do it on any newly created ones. Well, let's see what happens. I think this captures full. Okay. Should. There it is. Okay. Oh, nice. Uh, she has not responded to my um, thing either. Song and shit. So at least she can mean Check this. Oh. Check this here. 
Uh, I don't talk about him anymore. Oh, man. Mm. I told you all about that story. I was at a old McDonald's. Yeah. Smoking and making coffee. Reap is going to join as well, too. We're going to have, yeah. have a full party, baby. I'm trying to get oh. Z in here as well, too. Uh, Heidi has it as well, too, but she's out right now with her uh, yeah. her daughter's audition. Um, What's up? We can now... We we no longer have to leave holes or anything in, in, our, uh, in our fortified structure. Nice. We have gates. Hell to the nice. end. See, I knew, case, baby. I knew that they would update this. Just they were just they had to. Yeah, they were. I mean, it was such a brand new game. They were seeing, you know, all, all how things turn out and whatnot, and then. I mean, I don't know if you guys played the first one and everything, but they had to have some sort of gate because the first one had gates. Yeah. Yeah, I did. So. And you can also add things to your hotkeys now. Yep, I love the hack. <laughs> Ooh, six frames a second is painful. It's loading everything in. It's loading the app for me. Oh, yes. by the way, Cactus, okay. I think you can no longer do that uh, that glitch for the infinite logs. Really? I believe they patched that. Alright. I will say, um... I think they also put a thing in where if you have like furniture or something like that, yeah, you, you can now pick up. it up and move it, which is an amazing thing. That's what you would be doing yep. with and you can also furniture move. anyway. Uh oh. You, you can also move like the uh uh like the um like the bookshelves and whatnot. Wow, they really added some co shade coloring to this. Wow, this looks. Mm -hmm. Whoa. They even added to where you can block your door. I forget how you move shit. Mm, what the fuck was that? Where I, can lock my door. I think I think that was. Yeah. I gave her. Oh, there's babies. Uh oh. <laughs> Virginia has a shotgun now, so. Does she have the pistol as well? Yep. Oh God, there. Uh -oh. oh, she's OP then. You're good. Uh, I'm gonna have to learn to find out where uh, all this stuff is, you guys. Oh my god, she's got one hand. And... Hey, Reap. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Reap. What's up, brother? Jeez, you my foot up. <laughs> How do you... How do you move? Oh my god, did its umbilical cord just shit out of its belly? What did I just witness? Oh. I just witnessed it actually freaking flip. I hear that. If you need some ammo there, Cactus, I have some ammo in here. Alright. I think Regina's trying to give you something. Mm -hmm. Where is she? Yeah, she was not that way. I'm only getting 34 frames, so. Uh -oh. Has it reset your settings from the update? Yeah, I might have to. Guys, you got achievements for nothing. I got everything at medium and stuff though. Let's see what happens. So the new Destiny raid was beaten under three hours. Oh goodness. Wow, really? Mm-hmm.
He's still alive? Oh. You can use the wood over here, uh, back if you need it. How do you move? It's going to take me a second to remember how to do all this shit. If you're trying to do that well, okay, there it is. They it. it works like they did, yeah. yeah they <clears throat> okay. I don't even remember which one was mine. Which one? This one? No, the one in the middle. I can't hear you for shit. What's going on in here? You probably have me turned down. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're normal. Here, I need to turn you up. Mm -mm -mm. Let me know when you want an invite, Mr. Reap. I'm ready on. Yeah, he should be. Oh, in. he is? Oh. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, just check your frames per second, Cat, just because mine was set at 100 for some reason. Frames? Uh, yeah. Just see if you can, like, if it's not set to 60 or something. something. Yeah, mine's... Do you have V-Sync on? No, I'll turn it off. Yeah. Uh, I have max check. 60 frames. Yeah, uh, that's strange then. What are you getting? How many frames? Um, I've just set it back from 100 to 60, uh... <clears throat> Are you on quality presets or like medium and all that? Uh, medium, I turn clouds to low and water to low. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna turn motion blur off as well, mm -hmm. that helps. Texture rezzo? Full or...? Uh, I've got full for texture. texture. Okay. Um, everything else, billboard, parallax, medium, grass, mm -hmm. medium, yep. mm, fog, low, mm -hmm. ambient, draw, and quality, well, uh, draw and ambient and medium. Um, DLS, uh, DLSS Shit. is balanced, bloom on, screen, space, reflection on. Motion blur off. Mm -hmm. uh, aberration on. Shadows on. Micro shadow on. Film grain on. Color grade. Uh, display down to 60 frames. Gamma 50. Brightness 50. Um, does it allow you to put like uh, the frames per second up on the screen? Yeah, I have it sitting up at the top, right? No, how'd you turn that one on? Through Steam. Oh, through Steam. Uh, right. okay. um, yeah, I'm only getting 38, 40 frames. It seems like that helped, though. I don't know. 33 frames. I don't know why. 35 frames. So you got you guys upgraded <laughs> in the week or so that I haven't played. Oh god, there's people here. There's people here. Behind you, uh, there's a red guy, so be careful. He's destroying the wall. Do they have any 
Um, do you know how in the forest? Oh, I don't want to pick him up. Uh, um, they had like I know you built like all these spike walls, but like the spike axes. Uh, the spike thingies. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering that too. Because that will stop them from going straight into the wall. Obviously, it'll probably be made out of sticks or whatever. <laughs> But, Are you uh, full screen windowed borderless or exec? Um, um, I do full exclusive. screen. Exclusive. Uh, um, yeah, exclusive full, full screen. screen. Oh. Oh, and also you can only there, there's a cooldown for the sleep. I see an exclusive. It only shows that I'm doing one frame per second up there. Does that make sense? <laughs> But I'm not, but I'm moving around smooth, but not as smooth. But... Oh, there it goes. It's catching up. 37, 27, 28. I'm only get, why do I get such shit frames? I have a 2060. I shouldn't have this problem. Again, like with the update, it's probably a graphical upgate, uh, upgate, update. So obviously where you were playing it before, it was just... They they changed the DLS. Yeah. Probably. The dynamic library was updated on it. So I need to eat and sleep. Awesome. So I wonder how yeah, I can you, fix it. Well, this. you don't want to sleep until nighttime. Really. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay. But uh, I need right. to uh, eat. Okay, now we you. have a cooldown. I got some MREs in my house. If you need some. Which one's your house? Right here. This one? Ah, okay. Hmm. Let's come upstairs. My f FOV seems pretty. Some right there if you need some. Awesome. Thank you. And I got some canned cat food if you want. Oh, you there's want another dude in here. And then it's G. Nope. Oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're really gonna get up after your arms cut off? I wouldn't have gotten up. Uh, um, have they done like a quick, quick, uh, quick equip? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they did. They, they added hot keys. Okay, I need to get them sorted out. So basically, uh, when you when you open. Yeah, when you open up your inventory, you hover yeah. over the item you want and press 1 through 9. Okay, awesome. Cheers. I have 1 through 0, right. but if you have a so, mouse that has yeah. more than 0, you can do okay, yeah. 10 and 0. Yeah, now I see. <laughs> Good. I think you can uh, put them as numbers. I mean, as, as letters, too. Bro, uh, let that me, is let me check. Uh, sure. bit, oh. uh, if it's not key binded with anything else, yeah. Probably. No. Uh, I don't think so. Unless. Mm -mm. Yeah, no, you can't. How do I make a door? Uh, so GPS can go to six. My Kniffy. Vex. How to make Seven. a door is what you do is when you find the location that you want a door, like this, for instance, mm -hmm. you take. Two logs come over here and face in. This should give you an option to ah, put a door okay. in. And basically, it just consists of splitting the log in half and placing I have it. Up. A, I have, well, so you go up to the frame the, uh, and then it gives you the option. Rope? Or do you have to make it like that? You have to make it like that. So basically, you have to cut a hole in the wall. Yeah. In order okay. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, sweet. Cool. <laughs> I think I used all of them. I'm sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> so I use a lot to do all this. So the only other problem I got is that they should have the um, things at the bottom of the screen. Like they um, should have the boxes at the bottom saying one through nine or something like that. With what you've equipped to it, like they do in Ark. 
Oh, I'm not sure if they patched it. They said that they did just a while ago that they patched it, but if you... It was a time where I sent Kevin to go up get logs and he cut down Cactus's tree. Yeah, they, they fixed it, they said, but it not on older builds he might still do it. That's why today's hot patch was. Yeah. Oof. Big head Which, mode. which we can fuck? always... Can always test it late, test it out later, but he sees out here. <clears throat> oh well. I'll be the next thing for you game developers. Put the hot bars at the bottom so we can see what we're doing. Right? Mm-hmm. How the f uh, it's hours in the pit. There we go. Can I throw the... Yeah. Okay. Oh, why did I have that there? Ah. Okay. This is gonna be a, a pain in my butt. Hmm. I don't remember which one was mine. This one? Middle one. And okay, when you say middle, there's this one right here? Yeah, that one's in the middle. Oh, oh yeah, well, I mean. <laughs> the one with the short tree. We need signage. There. That's, That's that. what we need, signage. The one with the, sh with the short tree attached to it. If, if, if we get signage, it'll be better, because then everybody will know which is who. So, Thanks. what used to be the main base can be deconstructed, yes? Yes. Awesome. You don't scare me. You make me pull the trigger. I'll pull the trigger on you. Don't make me do it. I'll do it. I got one shot and you're down. <laughs> I shot first. Yeah, that's why I, I let, shot. Let, 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 the, let the record know, show, know that I, I was uh, just like Han Solo. <laughs> oh yeah? You wanna play that, huh? Take this off. Behind you. I want this off. How can you get this off? I think. You gotta hit it. That's not what I want. So I gotta hit this? Yeah, if, if, if it gives you an X, you, you have to crouch and keep hitting it until it breaks off. Okay, now I can see how the doors are made. Cool. Also. I'm not even hitting yeah, it, really going through so it. Yeah, back up. I didn't take it down, so it's just a back up. <laughs> <laughs> you got sent flying. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I kind of want to move the doorway, but I don't know how to fix the doorway. That I went. Right I went flying. How do you fi How do you make a door? Uh, okay, yeah, so you, you gotta wall, build, build and, the frame. And you then to, you cut in the middle. Yeah, you have to put the wall up, and then you have to build, you have to break a hole in the wall. And... Ooh, more logs. Sweet. Yeah, I kind of want to change my door situation. I don't know. I just I can't get frames on this thing. What's your FOV? Is it at ninety five? Seventy. That's probably another. Nope. That's even worse.
Is... What is Calvin doing? He's looking at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> Even at ultra settings, I'm still getting 40, 36 frames and 40 frames. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. How do you put something away in your hand? Or can you? Gee. Um. This is your house, isn't it, Reaper? In the water, yeah. The, the one in the water? Yeah. That's what I thought. I don't know. That just... See, even at low, I'm nice. still struggling at 38 frames. Why am I struggling so fucking much on this? Why? This is I don't know. I so stupid. Hmm. Oh, now it's like you have to use the uh. Firewood for your fire more often now. Ah, okay. There's a deer in our base. Going Shoot into it. houses and everything. It's nuts. I got plenty of firewood if anybody needs any. I got more than I'm going to be using. That looks like shit. What's next? I can't use things. What the? At least not what I'm wanting it for. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Let's 
see, I'm gonna put this back. But I want to use this for a second to pick up, maybe. There. I don't know. This this game is is unplayable for me. It really is. So you're not gonna play it? <clears throat> Give me a second. Maybe I can adjust something. On it's just, I mean, I'm 37 frames. It's like, eh, 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 eh. When I come in here, it's 35 frames. It's just, it, it's horrible. Let me see if I can fix this real quick. She's got clothes now. What the fuck? Yeah. You can give her clothes. You know that? Nope. Yep, I did not know that. Stuff up. <clears throat> I apparently looked some stuff up. And it was like, oh, okay. You can do that. Interesting. So. I'm gonna have a ramp going up instead of stairs because I want to be different. I'm allowed to be different. You're not allowed to be different. Yeah, I'm allowed to be different. There we go. Let's just set this over here. Uh oh. Host is not responding. Yeah, hang I think I just crashed. Did you crack? Uh oh. Uh, yeah, I crashed. Uh oh. So whatever you were doing probably didn't save. Latency control latency control makes loose by limiting the number of frames the CPU can prepare for the frames are processed. Low latency is on. Oh, that should be turned off. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm gonna quit out. Why well, you gonna quit out? Because then it gives it time to reset. What? What is that? Oops. Did you fart? 
I yeah, I um, had stuff fall off of my um thing over here. That is pretty okay. heavy. Yeah. I should be able to rejoin now. Yeah, I'm already doing it. No, go lay down. You can't have these. Start up. Go. You will get sick. Go lay down. Properties. See, I had shit happen like this before with... Same thing happened with uh, Valheim. It still kind of does. Let me check my NVIDIA drivers. Q823. Those are good. Those are good. Don't seem to find the server. Do what? Don't seem to find the server. Why can't you find the server? I don't know. It's still the same name, yeah? Mm -hmm. Cactus family. Mm-hmm. Maybe. <laughs> Everybody's like... Hmm. AMD graphics drive. See, I don't have you as a friend on Steam, so I won't be able to invite you. Mm, let me open up Steam. Hmm. Okay, dokey. Uh, Reaper. <clears throat> What's your name on Steam? Uh, give me one second, y'all. My name on Steam is Daniel Roll 4017. Did you get that the first time? <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea. You're friends with Cactus on it, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Cool. And me. Uh oh. I don't know if you have me, but. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if this is going to boop me off. Anytime you do, anytime you do graphics or drivers, usually shit will knock you offline. A little worried about that. It's 
So I should probably stop my stream as bad as I hate to. End stream. <laughs> 